Hey everybody, welcome to the PATC. We are going to do another uh, episode of Plastic Bits. It's where I and Steve, my co-host, get to share off uh, all the cool stuff that we found since the last time we talked to you. And I think I this time we found some pretty cool stuff. General stuff and general talking. Um, but yes, on, on the sharing time, um, you know, I'd always said when it rains, it pours, and it poured a little bit for me, but in unexpected ways. Uh, so the other week, we have this really neat get together. It's like the, the Skagit Valley garage sale. Mm. And they do it at the Mount Vernon Fairgrounds, and they do it twice a year. Um, it's it's um, Saturday and Sunday. It start, I, no, it starts on Friday, Friday and Saturday. And I always make it a point to have a work appointment on uh, <laughs> Friday morning to get me there like about 15 minutes before open. Excuse me, and guys. I, I have to go to work and talk to client A. <laughs> I got I got some stuff in the field. That's what I can say. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's it's like the last several times it's been really popping for me. It's uh you know, I've come up with some really good scores at this place. Uh, this time, actually, not so much. Um, uh, I went and I did pick a little something up, but I'm not going to show it and share it because it's all in pieces. Uh -oh. uh, my usual folks that I see that that I really like score big on, mm -hmm. uh, they didn't dig up quite the treasures last time. Mm -hmm. so unfortunately, I just I passed like their booth was the first place that I went. And uh, I'm like, oh, yeah, I almost bought a yellowed up like 83 gung ho from G.I. Joe. But oh, really? It took a pass on that one. Yeah, it would have been five bucks. And I didn't want to put him under the peroxide vapor and he just wasn't in super good shape. But that one's always kind of a, a, a gamble, right? It depends on the plastic. Like for G.I. Joe, some of the older older figures with flesh colored plastic, it'll actually bleach the plastic out. But since I don't actually like put the peroxide on the figures, the peroxide is liquid. It's underneath. I got UV lights and mm -hmm. the heat. That evaporation gets rid of the oxidization, but it, it kind of screws with some of the older figures' paints. Um, mm -hmm. I've had good success with almost all of them, but I treated a storm shadow that didn't go well. So, oh. um, did it get all bleached out? <laughs> it, yeah, it like the the flesh on the arms turned like white. Uh -huh. Not the not on one part, but on the upper arms, and it bleached out the the paint on the face, and it also sort of like bleached the insignia out. So uh. it's fine. That figure was toast. He was turning way yellow. But uh, so when I go there, I, there's always usually a win, and then there's a big disappointment. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why I do the disappointment thing. There's a booth. This one guy, he's in like building C, mm -hmm. and I always go back to visit. And um, the last several times, he's had a really cool like uh knock off like chronoform watch thing you know like oh yeah yeah cool watches that you've got and he's always 150 bucks and it's always not worth it what uh, yeah yeah he's, he's really out there <laughs> and uh i don't know what i was expecting when i went to the dude's booth but i went and i'm like oh there's a sark from tron you know like 1983 or 82 when that movie came out i think the translucent figures mm -hmm. and i'm like Oh God! It's this guy. Oh no! It's this guy, and I've been I've been kind of watching him on eBay, and you you can get it for about twenty five bucks. Get one. Okay, that's not a bad deal. And um, I I just should have known. Every time this guy talks to me, it's just like infuriating. But I go, okay, what do you what do you what do you want for this uh, Tron figure? We're asking eighty five, and there's a reason why he has the same stuff every time. For these two I want to say that that his mom probably makes him come out of the basement twice a year to sell off some of his uh, his uh, his men, his little men, his action figures. <laughs> Your little plastic men, Stevie. So you know, like I, I ran to the booth I love, got skunked. I went and saw the guy that always disappoints me uh, that I should stop going to. But on the way out, I did stop by one one little um, tent. And I picked up a, a, an 83 Cobra Cobra soldier with a perfectly oh. red insignia. He needed a little bit of work. And I picked up a storm shadow that was in parts that's going to fix my storm shadow. Okay. I spent 15 bucks for the two figures. So See, that's the way it should be. That was really good. But that was only that was only day one. That was uh -oh. Friday. 
there was also the Washington State Toy Show in Everett on day two on Saturday morning. Ooh. It's not as big as it sounds. They do it like four or five times a year. You know, yeah, Everett gets still, to see it. I like bet you got some least, good vendors. Yeah, two to three times a year, it, it pops in Everett. So um, for me, that's it, it's like a 40-minute drive to drive down there. Up, It's nothing now living up here. But uh, So it was the usual Star Wars and all kinds of stuff. Mm-hmm. At that event, the things I'm not going to show off was uh, a really nice classified uh, Flint and Lady J. I had always wanted them. I kept passing on them when they were on clearance at Walmart. And it <laughs> like, struck me that I needed to have them. But I did luck out, and I'd been wanting to get another one of these. Oh, you uh, got another sergeant. Yeah, I got it. It was 25 bucks. Hey, that's yeah, a good, good price. That's a great price. Not, not like Ross, good deal. I have the my other one I took out of the package, but... Um, so that was that, that was a good find while I was there. Not bad, not bad. Yeah. Now I also found something else I'd been looking for. Ooh, yeah. How bright, I gotta, how bright is he? He looks pretty bright on my end. You know, he needs a little bit of a cleaning, and one of his skis is really yellowed. Um, oh, I can kind of see that's a slightly different shade. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm thinking he's fully complete. Great paint. I think I can probably treat him with the peroxide vapor. and get I would treat him in, in pieces. Don't treat him all together. Yeah, I, I'm going to take a look. So that one wasn't too bad. Very happy to get it. I got an incredibly good deal. He came with the file card. The other one that I was really excited about checking off the list. Oh, you found her! <laughs> yes. This is nice. a uh, 82 straight arm Scarlet. No stress fractures, no nothing, barely a paint rub on the boots. I mean, she's probably oh one of the best conditioned starlets that I've that I've ever seen out in the wild. So the best and, thing about this one, Steve, is that she's got the paint on her rivet still. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I got the file card with her, too. And because I bought several Joes out of this guy's booth, I, you know, I it was really hard because, you know, like it's always been the price is the price. But I'm like. W-W-D-D. <laughs> what would Doug do? Oh, he'd chisel like hell. He doesn't got to go home with him. He's not embarrassed about that. So uh, I, I did. He, he ended up being a really good deal on all the stuff I got. So uh, that was that was the dis- somewhat disappointing Skagit Valley garage sale. Mm-hmm. And the somewhat actually really, really good um, Washington State toy show. I got a couple of other things, but I don't want to hog all the time. Did you get something cool, too? I did get some stuff. Uh, I got some stuff that are, are pretty silly and wonky. Uh, that Oh, I've... good. I love obscure stuff. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know why I like this line so much. I, I started getting them a couple of months back, and um, I just I love them because of how how like the, how bright they are and how, how stupid they look compared to other modern figures. Uh, so I've been really, like, finding these toy biz marvel figures oh, oh yes 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 he's totally uh, complete i i've been trying to find him as complete as i can find him and and they're not expensive steve <laughs> these are not expensive no. toys by any means no dude i got like my punishers mint i got them on card for like 15 bucks yeah so but i just love how wonky and like just like look how chunky this guy is yeah, and right. that, that's like from the time when they, they had to make the, the parts dense enough to where they wouldn't break. So yep. the other one that comes to mind when I see that Iron Man is the um, quick change Batman from Batman Returns. Oh. <laughs> the gigantic gloves. Yeah. Giant the fat but, that makes it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's yep. exactly what comes to mind. And that's exactly that. what this is, actually. So. But um, it's it's but, really weird when you take his Iron Man armor off. He's like naked under the armor. Yeah, but he's still wearing his weird gray. Like it's just his chest. It's, everything else is on, but like <laughs> he's like uh, Tony Stark's all Tom Selleck under here. I'm all man. <laughs> just have to show off his chest. What's really funny is the plastic for around his middle is like so much bigger than even the, the his body underneath. Yes, he, he yes. just looks like he's just. <laughs> look at that gut that's awesome yeah um, yeah hey unashamed i bought that figure when it came out in the early 90s i had it uh, but i'm not ashamed to have them i actually i don't know what it is about these guys but i absolutely love them so they're a really nice callback 
to the early 90s. I well, mean, what, what years... I like about them is they're not the MCU. Right? Yeah. They're not the Marvel Cinematic Universe. They're the Marvel Comic Universe. Yeah, so... you know, you're right. The only thing they were doing was just selling off of the Marvel name and the comics. When yeah. Those toys came out. So, um, and, you know, some of them were real duds and some of them were, were super duper cool. Like, I love the first Venom that oozed the stuff out of the chest. Oh. Oh, you mean this guy? Oh, there he is. Yeah, dude, that's so, awesome. So the story about this guy, which, by the way, he's super cool. Um, I got him complete with his little slide. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. So the story, I got it, and I'm like, oh, this is going to be filled with 30-year-old, like, crusty slime, right? And so I, yeah. I get it, and I open it, and I squeeze it. And it's 100% still slimy, gooey goodness. Look at that. Oh, oh it's, okay. It's perfect. And it, mm, mm, smell those chemicals. Yeah, so it's. Oh, uh, yeah. I, but I'm was, not going to lie and tell you that I don't like the smell of it. <laughs> but I was super surprised that, like, that was still slimy. It was perfectly sealed. Like, this thing had not been broken. This thing had not been broken. So it was still in this airtight container. Huh. 30 years dude did you try squeezing any out of him uh not yet i haven't tried that but yeah, yeah that's you, stuff... you, you shove it in his back here yeah yep like this and you squeeze it and it just squirts it out the little hole in the front <laughs> <laughs> it's more like he they call it something like with scary symbiote ooze or something. Uh, like squirting that. pores. <laughs> That's what it are advertised yeah. on the box. Squirting yeah. pores. Squirting that pores. That sounds like the, the videos that I watch before I go to bed at night. I, I fall <laughs> right, down the right. rabbit hole. <laughs> oh, okay, so here's more uh, Marvel goodness then. Awesome. Yeah, uh, I did not buy that one. Look at his yes. head. Or, or. I like his boots. Yeah, his boots are actually kind of cool, but his face, I don't know if you can see, like, let's get that out of the way. Like, Yes, um, this is not exactly what would be considered the apex of sculpting. No. Yeah. But now, but does, I, he swing, does he swing the hammer? Was that Yeah, his... he does swing the hammer. His, his arm does swing, so if you pulled it back, it just goes. Ah, there you go. But, he, you know, he's complete. Was this all from Sky's Finds? Uh, Thor wasn't. Thor, I bought Thor on eBay for five bucks. So, oh, because I wanted to complete my Avengers. <laughs> but you have you know, the all Captain the other ones were at Skies. Yeah. Okay. okay. Including this next one. Ah, uh, Mister Fantastic. Oh yeah, that's right. He did extend, didn't he? Yeah. So let's look. Look at how funny this is. You extend him in all of the places he extends, and he just like <laughs> look at him. <laughs> boy they really got up there with that neck though they did i mean like that turns him from a five what was it like almost a four and a half inch to an easily a six inch figure <laughs> yeah i mean easily that's that's 24.99 in today's standards <laughs> you in a mcfarland package and charge 20 24.99 that's cool though man like when you think about it uh you know that they had to a lot of faith went in the line because these are all unique sculpts. Mm -hmm. You know, like they had to create the tooling for like all of these figures. They did. It wasn't just like a thing where you could switch a few parts or like clever GI Joe stuff that Hasbro did where you're reusing waists and knees and all that. Or stuff. well, this Marvel like Legends has been doing that, right? They have the, the regular body that they just repaint with some of the arms and legs and they just do a new mold for the head and then they call it a new figure. But um, these ones are all, they're all special molds. They're all individual. Yeah, one one hundred percent unique sculpt. So I super appreciate that about the about that line, and uh, I love that we had an incredibly violent sociopath with guns action figure in three different versions. That's Toy right. Boy. Yeah, yeah. I have the I have the cap gun version. I love it. Yeah, yeah. I I I managed to to snag one of those on card, and I've got the talking one on card that doesn't talk very well anymore. <laughs> and the one with the like super duper tough, durable vinyl trench coat. Uh, oh I got yeah. That one too. I, on one of them, they gave him a couple little pieces of hair that came. Oh, down. that came down. Yeah, they look like. Does prison. one of them have the bandana? No. Oh, okay. Uh, well, 
No, I'm looking at them right now. None of them, none of them had the bandana. That was a kind of a, I think that might've been a later thing when Spider-Man started coming out. They had a, uh, at least one version of the Punisher then, but, uh, but he, he, his whole thing was like non-lethal ordinance when they had him on the cartoons. So more like, That's more like the, the admonisher. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, I got two more real quick and then I'll give the rest of the time to you. How Great. About you? Uh, okay, so um, I hardly ever, ever, ever win eBay bids. Uh, so I was like, oh, if this one has no bids, I'll put 20 bucks. I'll see where it goes. Nobody bid on it and it was surprising that I got it. But it's a complete boxed vote. What? Yes. Oh, screw off. You didn't get that for 20 bucks. $20, Steve. Shut up. I'll show you the receipt. I I believe you. Dude, that is freaking awesome. That's going to look great next to your other one. Yeah, I was going to say, it completes the set. There's no more in this uh, joint model set. So it's only the, the two. So I have one. Oh, just, two. just the two. Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, oh, like, man. I can't believe you got that for $20. $20. And nothing beats a robot in styrofoam. I, I love the look of robot. Oh, robot. yeah. Yeah, that smell, dude. Back in the day. But yeah, hundred percent complete. That's... Still has everything inside with the instructions and everything. Twenty bucks. Nobody else bid. I cannot believe that. I know it was. I I was like I couldn't. I I had to wake up at four thirty in the morning to see if I'd won. And <laughs> I was I was like, "There's no way I'm going to win this. There's no way." And so you know, stupid me is like, "Oh, I'm going to set an alarm. I'm going to see if I get it." Totally got it. Nobody else bid. I was expecting you know, like the last 30 seconds to have like four bidders come in and be like, bam, 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 bam. Nope. No, nope. Just too early in the morning for anybody, apparently. Yeah. That would yeah. want that. Um, you know, the light doesn't get into the basement very well at 430 in the morning. So you're still asleep. <laughs> uh, but the, the best thing I ever scored on eBay that way, and I don't know how the hell I got it was, um, uh, it was a Jedi Luke from Return of the Jedi. And I, I, his card, his bubble was retaped to the card. I think you've seen it. Uh, the gun, the lightsaber, the, the cape, the cloak was still like wrapped, is still wrapped up in that plastic thing. Mm. I think I paid like 11 bucks shipped for that. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. He has, he does have one little nick on his hand. And I think it was just because he bounced around in the, the package over the years. But, Wow. Uh, that was the that was like the best one, and that's such a rare occasion that I well, that I ever win anything. I'm, I felt really good. Like like I felt like as good about this one as I did about that warlord. Like that warlord was great. So yeah, don't even remind me there. Yeah, the the what I went through to get mine. I <laughs> I'm not on the winning side of that to get him complete, but I was so jealous and <laughs> excited for you. I had to have it. But now oh, I want my last one. I, okay. Oh, wait wait right. wait what? I was going to say, now I want to get lucky and find one of those for 20 bucks on eBay. That's, that's I'm, I'm, there's something, I, to be I just love the Votoms. Like, have you watched any of the, the old cartoons for Votoms? I did not. It never aired in my market. Oh, man, you got to look them up. They're all on YouTube, and they are an amazing, amazing story. I don't want to ruin it for you because it's actually pretty good. There's like four or five parts of it from the older versions. Now, Votoms is still going. Like, people are still watching. Oh. People are still making them. It's, but the older ones are the ones that like, that's the ones that sure, uh, with, with all I those classic, all stuff. Yeah, classic like, mecha designs that ended up yeah. being licensed out for like battle tech and uh, whatever else anybody could get their hands on during the big robot craze. But yeah. what's, what, what's next there? Okay. The last one was uh, I, I went glow golfing the other day and there was a baby store next to it. So I went to go check out the baby store to see, you know, maybe I could buy some clothes for my granddaughter, see what they got there. They had a little toy section. And of course, Doug went and looked at the toy section. Yeah. But this was at a baby store, Steve. What? <laughs> but look at the price. Uh I'm does that say like 550? That says 550. Oh, piss off. Seriously. <laughs> There's no way I was leaving him behind. You're not leaving a Joe behind for for five dollars and fifty cents. Nope, nope. He came home with me. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and screw the baby. That's what they make diapers for. And like, there's other grandparents. And uh, yeah, babies them. can't play with this anyway because what are the ages? Uh, no children under three years. So I did them a favor. 
No children ever. It belongs in a museum. What are they talking about? <laughs> That's a great score, dude. I love that. Um, you know, the, periodically they'd been some of this stuff's been popping up at Ross, but it's not anything that you know you write home about. It's like the Crimson Twins, right? Uh, at one point, that Sergeant Slaughter had popped up at Ross for like twelve ninety nine, but I never saw one at our Ross. But um, that does bring me to the thing that I'm going to show because this is still we're still doing Doug Getz. Oh boy, I found. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't don't do any backflips. I got one of these a few weeks ago, and as I came in, I I happened to find like one more for you. Oh my so, gosh! Okay, this, so the, um, the best thing about that is the wolf is timber. Yeah. Yeah. If anything, you get a you get a timber. And it was oh, it was really man. inexpensive. So was Outstanding. And uh because they've been popping up here like gangbusters, nothing anybody can't get right now, but Doug, Doug also gets Duke because there's been several waves of the or several cases that have hit my target. So Yeah, I uh, I, I told you the other day I, I went and looked at the ones while I was over there. Nothing. You know, Lady J upon Lady J upon Lady J just filling up the pegs. <laughs> you want to know what i did <laughs> so i got that i got that classified lady j at the mm. toy show uh but then i saw the lady j that comes on this retro packaging mm -hmm. and at my walmart they were on clearance so i like the looks of that one better the brightness yeah i literally bought two lady j's so i could take the hair off of one and put it on the other yep <laughs> and have a cool lady j display but i'm like so embarrassed i even bought it that i'm not gonna show it yeah i just uh, ours have not been on clearance like if they ever put it on clearance and lady j's there for eight bucks i'll pick up a lady j for eight bucks but uh, it, it hasn't been it's not that much of a difference between that and the one i got to make me it really is super excited the one on the retro card just has the the hat hair yeah so you know well, i want one in the like, box has the hat hair too it's just a different color well she comes with the other hair to put on her yeah oh, oh yeah 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 she comes mm -hmm. with the with that cool like badass pixie cut that yep. she had, uh, in the cartoons and lady j is my favorite joe my favorite uh female design in joe is obviously cover girl because right. she her like top to bottom is simple and looks awesome but i had to have a lady j because i wanted to have the flint and they kind of go hand in hand but well th uh, thanks for that duke i mean now i gotta get the uh the retro scarlet that's the one that's the the one at the top of the list now hmm I'll keep my eyes peeled um because they've popped i almost bought that retro scarlet but do you see what's happening mm. it started with me deviating off of duke and sergeant slaughter and oh, then there right. was snake you eyes are buying more classified these days yeah you? there was a snake <laughs> eyes because it was really cool and cheap and then there was a flint and then there was two lady j's and i gotta i gotta draw that line somewhere i can't i can't do it i just I'm looking and, now. I don't and know. next thing you know, in two months, what Steve's going to have that? Like, he's just going to be like, I'm just got to get all of them. Well, <laughs> the the wor worse than that is, you know, people have collected these thinking they had gold and they don't because mm -hmm. a lot of them are not hard to get. I'm seeing lots on, on the Facebook marketplace. And I mean, you're, you're getting them for less than retail price and you can buy out whole collections. And I see that and I'm like, oh God, one fell swoop. But no, don't do it. Don't do it. Fight it, don't. Steve. You can do it. Stay strong. <laughs> yeah, just just stick with the things that you like. Don't 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 go down that rabbit hole. Uh, but, don't, don't call me looking for support, though. I am not that person. No, uh, you're gonna I, say buy it I'm because they're so freaking it. awesome. Like I'm stupid not to collect them. They're so <laughs> uh, last two things. All right. Um, and it was a it was a really good Joe weekend. Uh, but because I found that Scarlet. I was now confident to, um, I had the Scarlet and a Chameleon from the later Joes, you know, like mm. the Stars and Stripes. I had a Scarlet, uh, the weird colored one. And I had the yep. the Black Baroness that was called Chameleon with the red with highlights. The red stripes, yep. Yeah, I did manage to put together a really good trade with a guy in one of the Joe groups. Oh. And I finally got um, a Baroness. Nice. How are her elbows? Tight. Nice. Yeah, so my 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 man Joe over there really hooked me up. It's an incredibly nice figure. I traded those other two. I do understand that there's a bit more rarity on those other two, or you know, so it was a little lopsided. But this was one of the last things that I needed to well close I, you out so. for trade. You know, 
it all works out to, to whatever you value it. Like if you think you got a good trade out of it and the other person thinks they got a good trade out of it and you're both are happy, what's the point? Yeah. Good, good to go. I mean, I, I had always wanted one. I just never, you know, took the plunge and bought one and they're starting to get a little pricey. So happy to have it. The last thing that I got, this is really kind of obscure, but it was a big deal for me. All right. Uh, I had bought, so I'm going to show you what it, what got replaced. Okay. I know what you're showing. All right. Yeah. So got, I've showed this before. Oh, this is the matchbox it it's the matchbox uh reissue from exo squad mm -hmm. but it's the super veritech fighter from robotech the incredibly disappointing one that looks like it should transform but it, it doesn't. doesn't yeah but i finally finally mm. got the uh, missing headpiece there oh. and it is different than my 3d print and it's inaccurate to the screen because it has four head lasers and the vf1j only has two but this thing's now complete. That's beautiful, I did, man. I did not know that it was missing that part. So I got a, a smoke and scream and deal before Bobocon went out of business on this. But um, that let Wait, me complete Bobocon's this. out of business? Yeah, they closed up shop. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. You know, like it was a big store full of cool stuff, but it was also a lot of really expensive stuff in there. So. I, sat, I, that, had a, I was one of the stores I wanted to see you if I uh, had a chance to come up and see you. Brother, get your enhanced driver's license or a passport because we're going to go to Toy Traders up in Langley when you come up here. Okay. You'll forget get that anyway, so, hey. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that's it. That's that's the total scores. Um, I'm probably going to lay low for the next couple of weeks before we hit the Inland Northwest Toy Show in Spokane, which is on the 11th of May. Right on. So, uh, you guys, if, if you've never been, go. It's worth it. It's, it's so worth it. It's so worth it. Not just the toys, not just the deals, but the people that you run into and you talk to as you're dealing, too. Those guys are, there's they're some pretty cool people there. Super, super awesome community of people there. And I'm going to say it's that show's better than the than the toy show I go, go to in Everett. It's bigger. It's got a bigger variety of stuff. Pricing is really aggressive and just like, like Doug said, super good people. So, All right. don't. Well, don't don't That's all the time stuff. we got. We got to go. We'll see everybody in the toy house. Thanks for joining us. This is Plastic Adventures.